So the two particular projects or the two particular approaches to this project that will probably be using a jigsaw lid technique is gonna be the, um, if you are gonna make a container or if you wanna make a luminary. Both of those two techniques or those two approaches can use this technique to open your vessel and create a fitted opening and closing mechanism, okay? So um, the idea behind it is kind of just like a jack-o'-lantern, right? A jack-o'-lantern is basically a jigsaw, um, is basically like a jigsaw lid. So I wanna turn this into a luminary, right? Remember, a luminary is the thing where you put a candle on the inside and then you carve out areas and then it lights up, right? And so for a luminary, generally we wanna put the candle at the bottom and so we want basically the whole top to lift off we don't want to take a lit candle and try to put it down in there that's how you burn yourself right so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm kind of just going to pivot my sculpture all the way around with anything that can make a mark because i want to make sure that i have a nice even line that goes all the way around okay so i just basically just mark this you may not be able to see it because it was very very light i just don't want you know how sometimes when you're going and then it gets higher and higher and then the lines don't match back up Okay, and so for a jigsaw lid, to have it work is we need to have some components that nest together, right? So if you think of like a jack-o'-lantern, how you make like the little jags, those little jags are the pieces that nest together that hold the lid on, right? Because if I were just to cut this into two pieces, the two, they're just, they would just fall apart, right? They don't actually fit together. So we have to create a little puzzle piece. But I wanna warn you, if you make it too crazy, it may not fit back together very well, right? So you wanna make it kind of a, just a subtle little puzzle piece. And you also have to make sure that they don't fit like this, right? Because if you put them together, let's say you carve like a design like that, well now my lid doesn't come off, right? So you have to make sure that they can slide past each other. So a really easy thing is using like oval shapes and point shapes. I like oval shapes better because I'm more into like free flowing lines and I like geometric lines. But so for example, right here, that's gonna be my little puzzle piece, right? And so I'm gonna go on all four sides. I made mine a little bit squared off and I'm gonna just kind of trace on my, my idea for my puzzle pieces. And it's just gonna be these little swoops up. It might be smarter to make one bigger than the other ones because that way you know that's the one that they always, you know. You know how when you take your jack-o'-lantern apart, you take the lid off and they're like, oh, which way does it go back on, right? So give yourself a little hint. And then once you have it uh, traced on there, all you're gonna do is, I'm gonna use an X-Acto knife, but you can even just use your sewing needle that I gave you. That will cut through clay, right? And you don't want your clay to be super soft. So if you start cutting and it's like ripping through the clay, let it dry out for a little, like, I mean, a tiny bit. Like maybe just let it sit out while you're working on your designs or something. Um, and so, yeah, you don't want to get, you don't want it to be like super soggy, but you also don't want it to be dry, right? That's even worse. So you want it to be just so as you cut, it's just a really nice smooth cut that's coming out. So I'm just following my line that I made, just tracing it, but now we're at a deeper level. So I cut all the way around. So if I did my job right and I had the right depth, I should be able to just pull it apart, okay? So you see that, how it just comes apart? I obviously will need to clean up all those edges and if you look inside, you can see the area where you uh, a, like attached your pinch pots. Like that'll all have to be cleaned up because now the inside has become part of your project. But that's easy to do. You can just get a spoon and kind of just scrape it down. And then also I'm gonna need to clean this up, right? Because it now has become part of my project. But the idea behind this is pretty simple, right? It's creating like the idea of a jack-o'-lantern um, and you wanna just be able to cut the two pieces apart in a way that can be easily fitted back together, okay? So your options for this, you can put, wherever you put the, the line is up to you. You can put it right smack in the middle, put it at the bottom, or like a lot of times for containers, we'll put it at the top, right? So you can take it off and this would be the lid, 
versus removing the lid from the base for like this, okay? Um, those are all different variations of the jigsaw lid technique. So, uh,